In today's video, gents, I'm listing out 21 daily habits of super stylish men. First up, they look in the mirror every single day. They're not a narcissist. They simply take pride in their appearance. When you look in the mirror, look at the man that you've become. Be proud of who you are. Understand the message you're sending the world and walk out to meet that world with confidence. Next up, they don't wear trash bags. What am I talking about? Their clothing fits them. So if you put on your clothing and you've got all this excess material, it looks like it should be worn by your bigger brother. You've got a fit issue. I've talked about the style pyramid, fit, function, and fabric, but there's a reason that fit starts it off. Guys, you can own a $2,000 suit and if it doesn't fit you, it's not going to look great. So make sure to take all your clothing to get it adjusted to fit your body type. The next daily habit of a stylish man, he marches to his own tune. When he gets dressed in the morning, he gets dressed for himself for his why. He understands the message he wants to send the world and he doesn't really care about what are people going to think about me in the office. Am I going to run into somebody they're going to say, oh, you're overdressed. What are you wearing that for? You don't look like the rest of us. He understands that everyone is caught in a fashion trend and he leverages that to his advantage. He dresses in clothing that again sends the message he wants to send the world. And working off that last point, let's talk about the clothing that he does wear. Every single day, he wears pretty much the same thing. Not the same clothes, but the same uniform. Again, he spent the time thinking about the message he wants to send the world. Maybe you're working in the construction field, but guess what? You're an attorney or you're a consultant. And so you need to dress a bit more professional. You need to send the message of competence, of strength. At the same time, you need to have a versatile outfit. You're occasionally going to go out there on the site. So you wear a type of boot that's going to be able to give you traction, look good. You wear dark colored jeans, but you got that sports jacket in your truck so that you can dress up and give that multi-million dollar presentation. Next up, Stylish men know the time because when you know the time, you're less likely to be late and being late, well, that's never in fashion. Now, to know the time and develop a relationship with time, you need a watch. So guys, why not start with Vincero, the sponsor of today's video. I've talked about this company for years. If you're looking for a watch that's going to stand out, a watch that's going to get you compliments, a watch that is non-cookie cutter, there's a lot of minimalist watches out there. Vincero has said, hey, we want to stand apart. We want to be different. We want you to be able to wear this watch and with pride, be able to look at the time to develop the relationship with time. And that's what I like about this company is that they're all about actually how the watch makes you feel. So when you go over to their website, what you're going to find are beautiful collections. Just look at them. Look at the Chrono collection. Absolutely beautiful watches here. I just love the look. I love that actually everything is functional, just great looking watches. Then you go over to the Bellwether. I have to admit, I love the balanced look look here. I've got a bellwether in steel. Absolutely love that silver look. It's just a great looking watch. And then when you go look at the Kairos collection, this is going to be a simpler collection, but if that's what you're looking for a watch, they've got you covered. Then you go look at the marble collection, maybe the rogue collection and their new altitude collection, which is absolutely beautiful. Gentlemen, Vincero has both quartz and automatic watches. They've got custom engraving. If that's what you're looking for on top of that, gentlemen, every Vincero watch comes with free shipping, a 30 day return policy and a 20 four month warranty. And gents, don't just take it from me. Go check out their website. They've got almost 20,000 five star reviews. Guys, to get your Vincero watch, get the best deal out there, use the link down in the description. I've got a discount code down there you can use. That's the best deal you're going to find on the web. Use that link, gentlemen, to grab your Vincero watch. Now, if you're new to my channel, you may be thinking, oh my gosh, all this stuff here, this sounds overly complicated, but it doesn't have to be because you follow the daily habit of leveraging your style systems. So the first one, let's talk about laying out your clothing the night before. Before. You want to use a valet. Just simply lay out your sports jacket, lay out the trousers you're going to go with. You don't even have to have something fancy like that. You can put it on the end of your bed. The point is you've got your clothing laid out. So when you wake up, it is easier to dress sharp wearing the clothing that's there than it is to go rummaging through your closet and try to find something you can't find. And let's talk about your closet. Your closet is not a landfill. You just don't dump things there. No, you have the daily habit of whenever you clean your clothing, whenever you're putting it away, you put it in the place where it belongs. Whether you have a large closet, whether you have a tiny closet, you realize it's easier to find things when they're in their proper place. And let's talk about the daily habit of using boxes. So if you're looking for your shoe shine equipment, guess what? You look in your shoe shine box. If you're looking to wear sunglasses, you go to your sunglass case. If you're looking to wear a watch, you go to your watch case. The point is a well-dressed man uses and leverage boxes because when you put things away, it's easy to find them. Now, when it comes to shining your shoes, a well-dressed man has developed the habit of shining and cleaning his shoes after he wears them, before he puts them away. 
Why? Because whenever you need those shoes and you're short on time, you're not going to have time to shine them to clean them up. But if you pull them out and they're already ready to go, boom, you're ahead. The next daily habit of the super stylish man, he practices practicality. He understands that fashion follows function. What does that mean? It means that you don't dress sharp just to dress sharp. There is a functional reason for actually wearing the clothing first. Now, you want to look good, but you always realize, okay, I need to dress for the environment. I need to dress for the weather and never dress in a manner that it's not going to work for that. Or what's the situation? Is there actually a dress code where I need to go in there and wear my suit, aka suit of armor, so that I send the message I need to send? Super stylish men, they understand that less is more. They default to simplicity, especially when it comes to things like jewelry. Don't over accessorize. Don't think that the more things you add to your outfit, the better it's going to look. Style is oftentimes about the simple things. Treat those accessories like salt. They should go in just a bit. They should bring out the flavor, not overpower it. Next up, he's not worried about name dropping. I'm talking about labels. I'm talking about fashion brands. He understands that's a place to start. And there are some fashion brands that actually put up great products, but a lot of them are resting on their laurels. They've marked up the price and they've shot down on the quality. So a super stylish man, he realizes that it's all about actually being able to understand quality. So when he looks at clothing, he looks at something he's picking up or something he's going to put on his body. He looks at the stitching. He looks at the materials. He looks at the build quality. Now, how is he able to figure this out? Because of the next habit, which is he's constantly learning. Anytime he walks by a great menswear store, he walks in, just takes a couple minutes because he's always out there looking, not just for deals, but he's educating himself. He's maybe, okay, he can't afford that $1,000 sports jacket, not because he's going to buy it today, but because he wants to understand quality because when he sees it, when he touches it, when he feels it, all of a sudden he starts to get a better picture of what to look for. So when he spots a similar jacket that's on sale for $300, still expensive, but not at a thousand bucks. And he realizes he needs to pounce. He needs to jump on this because it's an amazing deal. And let's talk about waging war on wrinkles. So he doesn't wear clothing that hasn't been ironed or pressed. He understands the difference between pressing and ironing his clothing because he owns a suit and he realizes never put that iron right directly up against the suit. Instead, use a steamer. He starts to educate himself on how to take care of his clothing because he realizes when you're starting to spend more on clothing, the worst thing you can do is damage it. Yes, and it happens. You got to be very careful with wools, those luxury materials, but he starts to understand and educate himself on how to take care of these very expensive items that are going to make him look great. And when it comes to buying clothing, he buys clothing that multiplies, not clothing that adds. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the interchangeable wardrobe. So he realizes when he buys shoes, when he buys trousers, when he buys shirts, when he buys jackets, all of this, he wants it to work together. If you understand the power of the interchangeable wardrobe, you know it's not about actually adding that stuff up across. It's actually going through and multiplying them. So if you have four pairs of shoes, if you have four shirts, if you have four pairs of trousers, and you have four jackets, 16 pieces of clothing, but if they're 100% interchangeable, you have a total of 256 outfits. The next habit of the super stylish guy, he experiments with different products. Let's talk about hair products. So you may have been using pomade. You love the way it holds, that you love the shine. But have you ever tried a matte product, one that doesn't have a shine, maybe a clay, maybe a fiber? You try it and you find that you actually like it a lot more. Or you could actually go with similar products with different brands. You actually find that there's a big difference between what the brands are using. Maybe you want to find something that's more natural. So you start to go through, you start to find better deals. You start to realize that, hey, you can save money, you can actually change up the looks with very simple experiments of just simply hair products and other things. Now, part of experimenting is being able to accept risk. And when you accept risk, you understand that there's the chance of loss. There's the chance of actually success. So you go out there and you try something and oh, it's a little bit too strong. I thought I would really like it, but maybe it's a little bit too powerful or maybe something you didn't expect to like and you absolutely love. And that's where you get the win. Other times you try something that, hey, you thought was going to be really good and it's just mediocre. And then again, other times something comes out of left field. You don't even know what it was. And it's like, wow, I absolutely love this stuff. The point stylish men make a daily habit of trying something new. Super stylish men, 
they have routines. They've got rituals that they do daily, that they do weekly. Maybe it's applying an eye cream. Maybe it's a weekly going in there and cleaning out their nose hair. All of this actually is just something they follow. Why? Because it prevents them from actually having to be reactionary. Because when you are about to give a presentation, you notice you've got nose hair sticking right out there and everyone out there is sitting looking right up at you pretty close. It saps away from your confidence. You take care of your nails. You've got a nice grooming kit that yes, once a week you go through and you make this happen so that when you're traveling, you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I've got these nasty looking nails and I'm about to shake all of these women's hands who may be paying attention to it. Super stylish men, they love to smile. They take care of their teeth. They whiten their teeth if necessary. They brush their teeth. They go to the dentist. They use a tongue scraper and a tongue cleaner. They use mouthwash. They understand that good oral hygiene is very, very important. Super stylish men understand the power of liquid courage and using the right fragrance. Oh, all of a sudden it can set the mood. Now they're careful. They know how to apply fragrance. They know not to overuse it, but they do realize that it's something that most men, especially in the United States, don't use to their advantage. Most guys don't want to smell bad. They use deodorant, but they don't understand the power of actually having a signature scent, something that's going to make you memorable. But again, one spray, maybe two, you want to be discovered not announcing yourself when you walk into a room with your smell. Super stylish men say thank you. They say please. They say excuse me. They've actually got really good manners because they realize that clothing is only a part of the whole picture. It's about how we treat our fellow human beings, treat them with respect. And tied with that, actions speak louder than words. You help people take off their jackets. You offer assistance, not because it's necessarily a woman, but because this is a fellow human being that you want to help. So if it's a man that needs help opening a door, help him out. If he needs help getting his luggage up because he's relatively short and you're a larger, bigger, stronger guy, then help the guy out. There is nothing wrong with that, with just simply helping our fellow human beings. And I think it's one of the most stylish things a man can do.